All right, welcome back. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cover how I use my Vivor um, RR500 recovery machine to recover refrigerant. Um, I've got a little, an old, um, as you can see, an older uh, mini split here that I'm gonna con condemn this thing and uh, recover the refrigerant from. Uh, I wanna go ahead and um, show you how I do that here with the Vivor 30 pound um, tank here, 30 pound jug. First, I'm gonna go ahead and start off by pulling a vacuum, okay? So let me go ahead and get my micron gauge set up and I'll show you how that works. You're going to want to be reusing this tank, so essentially all you have to do every time you, um, every time it gets full, just go ahead and dump into a recovery tank that you pretty much don't mind swapping out. Here's my micron gauge. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, move that out of the way. My vacuum pump there. Yeah, I like these. Appion hoses here it goes three-eighths to quarter so quarter inch on one side three-eighths on the other so it makes it pretty seamless I'm gonna go ahead and hook up to any side on this hooking up to any side on the uh, recovery uh, tank these are really cold these hoses are pretty cold Probably one of the benefits to the Blue On hoses that I would probably like to experience one of these days. I might have to invest in them, but they're really, uh, when they get cold like this, they're really hard to manipulate. Okay, so I went ahead and hit the power to my micron gauge, got it powered up, and I'm opening up this valve here, the blue valve all the way. I'm just going to do a quick rough vac. Make sure we got oil. If we do, it's just not even. I need to basically put this in a more even surf level surface. Matter of fact, I'm gonna put some oil in that thing. Yeah, it's pulling down pretty rapidly. Now that we're getting below 10,000. This is a uh, right around 2,000 microns. I like to close the ballast to get us into a deep back. All right, there we go. We're going to get this thing down to about 300 microns. I'm not going to go too crazy with it. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the low side here. And as you can see, our vacuum still remains connected. Turn off the vacuum pump. Just let that thing rest. All right, so we've got this all tied in. Now all I'm gonna do is open up Got a little Allen, got a little Allen key type bit. There it goes. Go ahead and open that all the way. All right, so I've got just the quarter inch hose here. I've taken out the cord depressors, as you can see here. Um, 
just a little less restriction. Now that that's open, oh crap. I'm gonna go ahead and take this valve core out. Pulls out the valve. Of course. Hmm. Okay, there we go. Now we just hook one side, one hose to the valve core mover, like such. All right, so that's the hose here. I'm gonna go to the inlet of the recovery tank. Okay. Now we're gonna come out of the out. Outlet side, grab this bigger hose. I usually put the bigger hose on the high pressure side. I feel like it just, for some reason, I don't know, I probably should put it on the low pressure side to be honest, but. So like such. That screwed on like that. <sighs> right, coming along the back side, and it's gonna screw it directly onto the low side here. Now I always like to weigh my uh, charge out, so I'm gonna go ahead and get my scale. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use my LE Tech scale here. It's a pretty sweet little scale. Matter of fact, let's get that set up. Kind of reminds you of the field piece. The scale's got the little remote there at the bottom. I think I like to go ahead and turn it upside down. Powered up. And I'm gonna zero it anyway, so. Now I'm gonna go ahead and open the valve on the valve core remover and turn the recovery machine to recover slow. As you can see, she pressurized, pressured up. Now it's time to purge all the lines. And I'm just gonna go ahead and purge it. What it's doing is making sure all the air is released out of this line, this line, and out of the recovery machine. That should be good, that should be a good purge. So I'm going to zero it again. So now what I'm gonna do is open up the valve on the recovery machine. You can see that thing is dumping, dumping charge. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and hit power. I'm just gonna let that run for a bit. This is just giving you an idea of how quickly it can recover uh, under cold conditions. With just a single quarter inch hose as well.
I mean, it's a good machine at the end of the day. I've got really no complaints about it. It does what it's supposed to do. Recovers refrigerant reliably. Um, and pretty quickly, to be honest with you. Now, it does come... The Vevor Reclaim Machine also does come with a small quarter-inch, six-inch quarter-inch hose and a, um, a filter dryer. But I wasn't going to dry this. I'm just going to basically... I'm not reusing this refrigerant, so I figure there's no point of really um, using a dryer on it. I'm going to go ahead and step this up to recover fast. Let's see what that does. Okay, so we're pretty much done with it. Um, as you can see, it's starting to be really low pressure on the low side. So I'm going to go ahead and purge it, and we'll be good to go. All right, that'll work. That's done. Three and three quarters. Alright, so that's pretty much concludes this video. I mean, that's, it's not really much to say. Reclaim machines aren't really anything, there's nothing too sexy about them. They're just kind of a general purpose tool, get the job done. It does the job. It's a quality product. The tank is quality as well. Thanks, Vevor, for sending this out to me um, to demonstrate and show and review and to use in the field. Like I said, um, I've used it a few times in the field. No problem. The only reason why it's not my everyday, um, my go-to, it's just a little bit heavy for my taste. Um, the newer DC motors are a little bit lighter. So, but if you, uh, if you're in the market for a, a good budget-friendly uh, reclaim machine, you're not really too concerned about all the, you know, the finer details and you know the smaller things and smaller issues. I definitely would recommend this this machine to any of you guys. Uh, like I said, I haven't had any issues with it so far. And as you see, we just watched it run for a good, um, well, we pulled three, three and a half pounds out. So honestly, just from my experience with it, I definitely would say this thing is field ready. Um, like I, yeah, it just, the only issue, the only small issue I've got with it, like I say, doesn't have, um, it is kind of heavy. Uh, it doesn't have the DC motor. So, but it's a beefy machine. I mean, this is a pretty strong motor in this thing. Got a pretty big, uh, big coil for nice heat rejection. So, I mean, can't really complain. You can't complain as well about the ease of use. As you see, we've got one single dial, um, one push button start, just basic. You got your um, compound gauges, high and low. So, I mean, it's got the full, it's got the whole nine yards. Everything you're gonna want in a recovery machine, it's got except for the lightweight and maybe the compact size, because you see it's pretty big. But um, yeah. That's pretty much it, guys. Just let me know what you think in the uh, comments below. Let me know your opinions on this machine, if you've uh, used it in the field. And uh, as always, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.